Good. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni. Last time we left off, we had just um, discovered the genie. Uh, this guy over here. Who? Do we actually talk to him? The genie in the cauldron. However, did I inside the wonder? Blah blah blah. Okay. Um, we can actually buy and sell from this guy. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait. Yeah, I wanted to see what you got. Buy. Oh <gasps> yes, strong coffee. Um, it gives me thirty. <laughs> Curse be gone. <clears throat> oh, we need some of those. Okay, let's let's grab one of those. Restores consciousness of one who has fallen during battle. Yeah, let's grab two, just in case. And then um, we will grab. Oh gosh. Okay, oh, we'll go. We'll grab one coffee. One coffee. That's expensive coffee. Uh, what about sandwiches? Sandwiches restore 100, and there are 400, so that's one per. White bread, uh, you spend 20, but you get 30. So technically, um, this is one gilder per hit point. This has 1.5 gilder per hit point. So this is actually the better deal, but you'd have to eat five of these in order to get 120. No. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, you'd have to eat five. Five, um, no, 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 30. 30 hit points, so 30, 60, 90, one, two, three. That'd be 120 for eating four of these. Yeah, well, I'm not very good at math, fine. <laughs> All right, uh, we ended up in this uh, place. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Wrong button. I gotta get used to all this again. Oh, and I need to do the accents and the and the voices, don't I? Oh goodness. Up ten to flan. Or a flan flan? Flan. I think it's a flan. By the way, this is such a hello! Uh oh wait, wait, I gotta I have to talk to her first. Fine. Hmm? What should I prepare for her tonight, I wonder? Are you cooking dinner, miss? Indeed I am. There's an old lady who lives alone near here, you see. I assist her with her domestics and ask... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Can we adjust the volume? It seems way too loud to me tonight. Um, hold on. I can't do it. Well, okay. So you're her maid, huh? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing like that. I'm merely... Something, uh, it is merely something that I choose to do. Uh, the old lady she cared for me when I was a child, and I'm merely repaying her, uh, the very many favors that she performed for me. There ain't a lot of people who do that, who'd do that kind of thing without asking for a single gilder in, in return, you know. This one's got more kindness in her little finger than most folks have in their whole body. Uh, excuse me, miss. We were wondering if you would be able to help us with something. Hmm? You require my assistance? That's right. Um, we were hoping that we'd be able to share so a little bit of your kindness with us. Um, there's somebody who needs it, you see. Hmm. If it will help someone who needs it, how could I possibly refuse? Thank you very much, miss. All right. Take her heart. <laughs> By the way, if this happens to be your first episode, I highly recommend starting at episode one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Get the warm and fuzzies. I like carrying the warm and fuzzies with me. The thought that I might help someone gives me great satisfaction. Good. Hello. Wait, do I need to talk to you for some reason? Yes, yes, that's it. This is the future. Gee, ma'am, you sure do seem happy. No doubt I do. I have successfully visualized a swimsuit more elegant than anything that has ever come before it. And for the designer, no joy is comparable. Will you have business with me? Okay. I need only to acquire materials to, for my vision to be re 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 bleh, realized. Perhaps you can help. Oh, it's a mission. It's a mission. Yes. Yes. Whatever it is. Listen to the favor of the designer to ask. Oh, thank you. It is rainbow leaves that I require. These are usually found uh, carried by florets. Three should be sufficient. Florets. Keep. 
Keep up, Ollie boy. There's creatures that roam this uh, shining, shimmering sands, ain't they? You must have seen a couple. The thing the rainbow leaves, though. Ah, these fairies know his. This fairy knows his fashion, I think. There is indeed an additional complication. The rainbow leaves that the fluorites carry must be co uh, cooled down before you can pick them up. They will otherwise wilt before your eyes. This makes it a little difficult to realize. Uh, okay, but how? Okay. Ice frost spell. All right, so I need to do the frost bite on the rainbow. Okay. Okay. Shh. Quiet. Who cares? Who cares about the storyline? Let's go. We've got stuff to do. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody here is wearing swimsuits, huh? Yes. No one. Uh, <coughs> hold on. This is Esther. Yes. No wonder they call it the seaside paradise of the South. Look. They're not dressed correct. Oh, it's. <laughs> Look, mommy. They're not dressed correctly. Tut. So, dis so very disrespectful. Huh? What? I. It's like Ding Dong Dell all, all flipping over again. Jeepers. Come now. What is the disturbance? Ah, Governor. The very person we need. What do we have here, hmm? Are you visitors of, of our town, I take it? You must. You must know that all who enter this place are required by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, bathing suits. What? Uh. But we ain't planning on moving here, is it? We're just passing through, like. Nonetheless, the law must be ob obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be re revisited. We once had a great trouble here. I'm sorry to hear that. You'd never think it look the place now. Wait. You'd never think it to look at the place now. It's so peaceful. It was a time of great sadness. Everybody wore long robes and... Uh, never mind. Travelers from all over the world <laughs> sailed to the Castaway Cove. Travelers who do not always see eye to eye. The men of the sea are hearty, but quite quick-tempered. Without constant supervision, they would have would soon fall upon one another in anger. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. I am sure you have guessed already what it was. Uh... Yes, to require all those in town to wear bathing suits, of course. Uh... What is he, flipping cracking on or something? Flipping crackers or something? What's the difference that it makes? A great difference indeed, fairy, for in a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. And no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress the same manner. But they are, are they from Alma Moon, Ding Dong Dell, or from the furthest flung island of the north? When they don the bathing suit, they become citizens of Castaway Cove. Wow, that's interesting. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm not doing the accent right. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Wow, that's interesting. But it's such a strange idea. How do you convince everyone to agree? Ho, ho, ho. At first, of course, I met with, I, uh, I met with rid uh, ridicule from all sides. None would support my scheme. But I did not waver. I remained true to my vision. I put away my resentment and my frustrations. And why I and why I was able to show such restraint? Because I had a dream. I had a dream of peace in a place of my birth. Gee, I thought they dressed like that because it was so hot. Hehe, <laughs> me too. <laughs> You're not the first to think so, but... Uh, this only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a misunderstanding is a happy one. I understand now. We should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everyone else. Let's do it. I want to bec become a citizen of Castaway Cove. All right, then. <coughs> oh, sorry, this is drippy. All right, then, if we flipping must. But I ain't got the swimsuit, have you? Ho, ho, ho. Not, uh, worry not, little one. 
We have the greatest wealth of bathing suits prepared for visitors such as yourselves. Come, you will follow me to my home. Yay! Check me out, dolly boy! I look the business in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvelous! <laughs> What do you think? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Family friendly. Sorry I'm late. We must uh, we may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of the more involved nature of feminine dress. Hey, Ollie boy. Uh, I guess. Anyway, we're all citizens of Castaway Cove now. Let's go take a look around. Thank you very much, Governor Sir. Ho ho ho! The bathing suits you're now the bathing suits are yours now. You must wear them wherever you whenever you visit. Now, at last I can say to you, welcome to Castaway Cove. Thank you. And now at last we can go look at uh, for a flippin' boat. Talk about a a faff? Mun. What is a faff? I'm gonna have to Google that one. You obtained a bathing suit. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay. Um, so next up is the star, which is right over here. Right over here. Right over here. Hello. That's a pretty flower in your hair, sir. Excuse me, sir. Um, are are you the captain of the ship? That I am, lad. Captain and master of all who sail her. Uh, you have a, you have a beautiful boat, Captain. You do not need to tell me that. She is the most beautiful on the seven sheet, seven seven seas, seven seas, seven seas. <laughs> He's the, she's the most beautiful on the seven seas. <laughs> Sorry, is, is that Sinbad? Sindaba, Sindaba, Sindaba. <laughs> There is not a finer <coughs> there is not a finer or more fearsome ship afloat. And her name is no less fine or fearsome, for she is the legendary sea cow. <laughs> Let's away to the sea cow. <laughs> the most fearsome. <laughs> I have something to ask you, Captain. Would you let us ride aboard your ship? Huh? You seek passage aboard the sea cow? <laughs> yes, we need to get to Artiminium. A vast girl. You believe you can merely stroll aboard? Who do you think you are? Well, Captain, I'm... Well, Captain... And... Wait. This is drippy. Well, Captain, and may I say what a fine captain you are? The young man standing before you... And I know it seems unlikely, but bear with me. This unassuming scrap of a lad, Oliver is his name, he is the only one. He is only on a journey to save our flippin' world. And he only accomp and his only accompanied by none other than himself, Drippy, the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, and I'm Esther. <laughs> You are a fairy. I have traveled the world, but I've never seen one of your kind before. So, lad, you traveled to the world... Wait, you traveled to save the world with a fairy for a companion? <laughs> then surely my ship alone will not suffice. You will need two ships, a fleet, even. <laughs> uh, does that mean that we can ride with you? But of course, boy. Just soon as you can... Sh uh, just as soon as you have shown me a letter of passage... From a beloved, beloved Caulif Caulipia, the most exalted Lola. I can't pronounce these words tonight. Jeez. We sail after that, her uh, for her glory and for her, for that of Al Mamun. Should Kalola la 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 la? Should the cow see fit to grant you permission to come aboard? I will refuse you nothing. All right, Captain. We'll go get the letter right now. Ha ha ha. Fine words, lad. But easier said than done, I fear. Still, if you are truly, uh, if you truly are to save the world, then it should be a work of mere moments. Ha ha ha. 
I don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We just have to prove him wrong. If we can bring him that letter of passage, he'll have to believe us. Let's go back to Alma Moon and get it. Cow look for full of full of I wonder what she's like. Looking forward to this, I am. I'm flipping love royalty, me. Okay, so the reason that we couldn't enter Alma Moon is because um, we didn't have passage to that castle before. So now we have to travel all the way back. Hey! Curses! What's this affliction I suffer? Are you okay? You don't look so good. I've been at sea, become a fisherman. Uh, it was all my only ambition ever since I was a babe in arms. Okay, what, is, what, is, what does he need? What does he need? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not actually reading anything. Suddenly, fisherman... Okay. Uh, Castle Co. Fisherman has suddenly become scared of the sea and refuses to get in the boat. Yes. So, it looks like we're going to need to grab some courage for someone. So... Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, just grab some courage. Hey, uh... You don't glow. Hold on, there's a glowy guy over there. Come here, glowy guy. Uh, I'm going to steal your chest first. Seems to be sealed by some kind of magic. That's fine. We've got spells. Oh, not that one. This one. Uh, spring lock. Boom! Cheeseburger. Oh, it's a fish burger. Nice. Excuse me. Um, I think you're the one... Skip, 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 skip. Thank you. Take heart. Thank you. Yay. If you want, you can always pause it or slow it down and go through and actually read it. I'm, I'm kind of over it, you know. We obtained some courage. Nice. Tidy. Are you finished already? Got a tingling sensation in my chest. Was that my heart, perhaps? Sure it was. All right. Was this the guy? Come here, boy! Yep, 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 yep. Uh, give heart. And let's not mix them up, alright? We're, we're going for courage this time. Courage, I say. Right into your face. <laughs> and you're welcome. Let the sun smell. Oh my, perhaps the agent's courage smells uh, me too. Not in the slightest. Yay, we got two fish burgers and 200 guilders. That's tidy. And we got an incomplete. Of course. Basically, I'm trying to I'm trying to run through these real quick. Oh gosh, we got one more and we can get another uh, thing. Uh, do you have a mission? No, nope, you do not. Hi, little boy. Father, what is the long sleeve shirt? <laughs> Father told me that when I lived in a city named Halman. He had to wear heavy armor all the time. Now that we've moved to Castaway Cove, there's no need for such things. He keeps them under the bed alongside his periodicals. Periodicals are kind of like news news stories, I guess. Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee. Absolutely. Hello. Two bunches of banana and a nice crispy lettuce. That should make for a good hearty meal. Fresh fruit, vibrant vegetables, the very finest of su uh, summer lands. Gee, oh gee, they sure do look delicious. Indeed they are. Only bustling port in town blessed with the fresh product every day, I think. Now, I mean no disrespect, but you are feeling quite well. You look pale and a little gaunt. Are you taking regular meals, I hope? Perhaps I should give you some fresh fruit to put your spring back in your step. There's Mother Lee. That's a nice thing to say. Spice required, simple spice. Yeah, there we go. Got an alchemy formula? <gasps> Sweet. I haven't done anything alchemy yet, and I think I'll, I'll probably save that for another episode. Hmm. But I only have like 20 minutes each time I do this, so. Oh, is this open again? Oh, another sandwich. Can we just get like sandwiches every time we pass by there? Hello. Blessings to you too. Glow ship. I think I think she said glow ship. Hello, kiddos. Any missions? Yesterday, father caught the largest dumb flounder he had ever seen, but it got away. Hello. 
My mother's latest glow shrimp. Wait, my mother's latest glow shrimp haul has broken all the Mamuni records. Nice. Hello, you're the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, we need the rainbow feathers or leaves. Phew! It's a curiously hot today. Perhaps I should swim out to the edge of the cove. It may be somewhat cooler over there. Hey, buddy! Do we get the first time, uh... Uh... Let's see, do we have any familiars to drop off? We do! See ya, bud! Get in there! There we go! Bye! Oh, can we go in here? Hello. Welcome to one of the Cat and Cradle's chain of premium inns. Oh, it's the thing where we can stay the night and sleep and stuff. Yeah, we need to sleep for a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. Many thanks. Uh, oh wait, this... What's this thing that looks like memories of... Seafarers that stayed here restored one of the pages, eh? Tidy. Oh, look at that. We obtained a new Regions of the World page. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to leave it. Do we want to save our progress? Yes, I do. I'm going to make a new save right there. Boom, done. Uh, I trust you had a perfect night's sleep at the Cat's Cradle. Travel safely now. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, Nino Kuni with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the, the videos. But remember that it's only a call to action. That is, that is to get you guys to go and subscribe. It's really up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and we will talk to you very soon. Outro.